relaxing the scope mainly. How you going to uh, keep this human in the same time? By relaxing the scope and position of my body, yeah. my right hand, my left arm, and everything. Okay. My initial learning points were to check the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are, what are all your learning points? So you're all going to sit down now and say, well, all your learning points is what we've already said. So you've got ones that you were highlighted as we've gone along. But the person who now should be the most, the person who makes the least mistakes or should make this look easier, is the last person through. Because the last person through is now yes. seeing you make your mistakes of checking the equipment. Yes, seeing no. you, seeing you and seeing you. A lot of pressure, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so should I start? Yeah, I know. We're... So we'll just stop there. Mistake number one. What did he say? No, what else did he say? Yeah. He said... Should I start? No, but before that he said... Sir, should I start? Sir. So, what's the first mistake? Paul, <laughs> <laughs> should I know it kills you. Yeah. Paul, should I start? Yeah, away you go, my friend. If I call you by your first name, why can't you call me by my... So that I can remember the name. You can't remember my name. <laughs> Slow. He said for colleague he would remember your name. As a colleague you would remember my name. I tell you by the end of this course you'll be regretting knowing my name. <laughs> <laughs> right. Freeze. Now, if we just take the scope out, just for a second, you hold the scope here. How are you holding the scope? Just hold the scope in your hand. How does that feel? Does it feel nice and relaxed? Yeah? Yes. Now, how does it feel? It looks hard. No. Hold that scope there. Just feel it. How how does it feel? It, it feels hard. doesn't look relaxed. How does it feel? No, it's really How does it feel? Just no gel on it, you hold it. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, all I'm doing is just gripping it. How does it feel? But how does it feel? Stiff. How does that feel? If I put that in, how does that feel? That'll exaggerate it. So, what were you doing with the scope? You can put it back in now. You were gripping the scope. So, did you feel the tension that was in the scope when you gripped it tight? Just imagine that in the bowel. So, it makes the bowel suddenly go... Ooh. Caress the scope. Relax. Good. everything at it. Yeah. If you slow down, where's the lumen? Yeah. Let the scope relax in the right hand. Now we're... Draw the scope back a centimetre. Put a clockwise torque on the scope. Right. Why is it not working? Now put an anti-clockwise torque on the scope. Anti. Why is that word? No. Anti-clockwise is making the scope look left. And that's because he's got the big wheel tipped forward. Neutralize your big wheel. Draw the scope back. 
draw it back another centimetre. Now, where's the lumen? Remember what happened when she was in the fold? Where did it end up being? You wanted to go blind, and where did it end up being? So, excellent. Anti-clockwise. Good. Good. Now, where's the lumen, do you think? Good. Now, where's the lumen? Excellent. 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 Stop. Now, how's that feel? It's more okay. Excellent. Good. Where's the lumen? It's not forward with the big wheel. It's that's it. And good. Right, I'm going home, I'm back to the UK, see you, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you do differently? I let you get on with it to start with. You went like this, you went right there. Right. Then all of a sudden, what did we get you to do? I will get your point. Right. When I said, you said, shall I start yes. pole? I yes. said yes. yes. Away you went. And then, and you couldn't make sense of what was in front of you and you were all of a sudden I got you to come back relax with the scope right. what did we do differently to make you successful when you withdraw the scope relaxed everything what happened what do you think happened I had a better view of the new why Experiously, my, my scope was much more rigid and... Uh, mm -hmm. You gripped the scope and it yes. made it rigid. Yes. That's one. Two, you were throwing everything at it. Right. Three, you were running. You weren't walking. You weren't strolling. Yes. So, we got him to slow down. He got to here twice as quick as what it got him that far into the rectum. You understood what that means? Yeah, yeah. everybody's clear. Yeah. And the final, most important thing you did, we got you to do one thing at a time, but the things that you did were the right things to do in the right order and did them slowly. Yeah. And therefore, when things started to change, you stopped doing that and then you were able then to apply the next movement to actually maintain the view. So going slowly enables you to see what options to make the view stay stable. Right. By going quickly, you, in Irish it's you make a hames of it. You, say, you can say that, it's not a rude word, right? But I won't tell you the other words that we would say in Ireland. But you can make a hames of it. So in Ireland you were making a hames of it. It was actually, you know, I, I, would, I would be cringe, I would do, whoa, where's he going with this? Right? You slowed down, you were able to progress, you were able to do the things that you needed to do. So you know what to do. You were just throwing it at it just to see if that would work. Slow down. So your things that we need to look at is getting you to slow down. You know how to apply it, getting you to relax the grip. What we want you to do, have a relaxed grip slow down and be able to reproduce the moves and the maneuvers that are necessary to make you successful. You won't scope like myself because I move around, I cannot stand still. I cannot stand still. I have to walk around. But what we're trying to do is to get you to look at a safe way of doing it. And if you do something slowly and with purpose, you also will minimise your mistakes and the potential harm that you will do to a patient. Yeah. Always think, I always tell people in the UK, this could be the one that puts you in court, this is the one that's going to cost you your GMC registration. So when you start to become a little bit, hey I can do this, mm. I make you feel very, very nervous. Because this could be the one that puts you in court. Yeah. 
your, your work in this country is a lot on reputation. You take your time, be mindful, look after the patient, and you'll be successful. Right. I tell you, every time I have got stuck, it's because I've rushed. Right. Even with this, uh, whatever experience I have in the last 25 years, it's always when I'm rushing, in whatever position I'm I relax, I don't have like long delays, the impressions coming here and there. Sometimes you get irritated and then you just want to, you just don't focus. It's very important to be slow. There is no uh, maturism here that I can reach the sequence in two minutes. And everybody at some stage in their life can. Um, and uh, as long as you're safe, you do it comfortably for the patient and you slow it makes no difference. But the slower you are, especially in the first few minutes of your colonoscopy, just negotiating the left side. Mm -hmm. The slower you are, the more likely you are not going to harm the patient, it's going to be less painful and it will make your colonoscopy very easy. So that's, I think it's very important to be slow. So you can see the human mm -hmm. right. Observe, think, look at your options. Try in a sequential way. Right, we come to the end of um, doing some hands-on. The reason for this, for you, is so that we get you to repeat the principles that we want you to be doing when we're doing cases. Two, it gives us an idea of where you're at with your hand-eye coordination, because that's why we want you. But there's a couple of things that I watch out for, okay? And you guys need to be aware of it. And Saad will translate, right? I hate surprise attacks. Any surprise attacks, and you will hear me going, what the hell are you doing, man? <coughs> so, what are surprise attacks? Surprise attack, you went in with the scope very quickly. Whoa, that's a surprise attack. But even before you get there, the biggest surprise attack of all, the PR. So if you don't tell the patient you're going to be doing it, if you don't communicate, if one of you is going to do it, one of you will do it, but talk to the patient, let them know you're going to examine them. No surprise attacks. Be mindful of your patients. There are occasions I ask, the, when I was here last time, I got my friend here to do the PR on a couple of ladies and pass the scope in. I know who I can and can't. There are times I need to see the anus because of what's going on and what the present case presentation is, but if there is a history that I know that I don't need to see the end of. I don't mind for, you know, confidentiality. I, I prefer that, but no surprise attacks. Surprise attacks gets a demerit, gets a kick in the shin. Kick in the shin? Guys, you clear with some of the concepts, sure? Yes. Is there anything different to the way you were doing it? Everything is different. Everything is different. The techniques. So that yes. If you find that there is a difference, then I can tell you that if you work on this, this is how you go. The plan, Paul, if you're done with this, yep. was for you to do a colonoscopy for us and for Vakar and I to sit criticize. down and criticize you okay. uh, and tell you how you're not supposed to do it. People never <laughs> think of the body center, never think of the scope position, yeah, body position, they just come and get You just want to reach the seat. Yes, sir. That's, That's what we want. Yes. But we want you to reach there exactly. in a systematic way. Exactly. And, and, and all this, I will simplify it. There are very limited movements you can do in the program. Mm -hmm. yes. You can advance, you can pull back. You can talk clockwise, you can talk anti clockwise. You can use the big wheel, up, wheel down. Okay. Well, one to one movement. Okay, now, and the small wheel really doesn't apply in most cases. It's only, it's only when you're in the right pole and you want to get into this, sometimes you can use the right foot. Generally, you don't need the small wheel. So basically, you come down to how many movements? It's only six movements. There is nothing much to it. But if you apply these in a, in a, in a plan, you know, in a, in a way that you comprehend, understand, then it will make sense. Otherwise, exactly what we showed, you put all the tools 
and you start doing it in the particular so that one would work. The principle is very advanced. Make sure your scope is straight. Make sure there is no tension in your scope. Hands should be gentle. You don't need to hold the scope tight. You must have shown you already. You don't need to hold the scope like this. If you're going to do single, you can literally hold the scope like this. Now that's only possible if you use the other hand as well. If you want to do this clockwise and anti-clock without using this hand, it will be like this. You can't do it without this. Coordination of so hand. this goes here. So you're going anti-clock. And anti-clock, this left hand is going away. You're going clock, the left, right hand is coming. So they both go together. Okay? And this, to me, is the most important step making your colonoscopy easy. Because it's all about talking, right? And talking is very difficult if you don't if you keep this hand steady, you're now doing this. Okay, the moment you let this go, it will come down. And so that's what we will reinforce, teach you. And then you go uh, hopefully build on that. Yes. So um, like Paul said, you'll be able to use the dummy uh, and also you'll be able to see. While somebody else is being taught, you can sit here and actually imagine in your mind, what am I going to do? I sit here, I'm sure Ricard does the same. You're watching or teaching you or somebody doing it, and I say, okay, what am I going to do? Come on, turn right, man, clockwise, up. So you're sitting and you're doing that. Okay. And that's how you actually uh, improve and understand. But it's very simple, done properly. You get stuck. Everybody does. But you should not get stuck in 8 out of 10 colonoscopies. If you get stuck in 1 out of 10 colonoscopies, I have no You're still a good colonoscopy. But if you, you need to be there. And that's not going to be very difficult. Just the right numbers and just the principles. Okay? So what is 1 to 1 movement? Yeah, 1 to 1 is very important. You know what 1 to 1 is, right? So one to one, one to one is very important because that tells you your scope is moving along with you. If you lose one to one, you know you are creating a loop. What do you do when you create a loop? You have two options. Yeah, they go anti-clock, you go clockwise. The smarter people will know here, okay, they might get anti-clock the right way. And Paul will explain, he might have explained it to you. Someone like me, I'm not bothered. So clockwise is It doesn't delay anything. Don't worry too much about the about the configuration of loop. Even in the there are two things that were looked at with fluoroscopy and with the new technique. Where people thought they were in sequence. This is either some of the <coughs> best guys. When you're in sequence and you're in rectum. Or rectal sigma, you know you're there for sure. As you go further down, one of the files we looked at, and people said they were in transverse colon or they were in descending colon or they were in ascending colon. 70% of the time they were right, but 30% of the time the world experts were not. 